you're currently trespassing, you cannot be taking pictures here. Well, do you know how trespassing works on public property? This is not public property. Who's the owner? It is the state of Colorado. Okay, well, the state of Colorado doesn't own private property, sir. But you can tell me the law that says that I have to leave a I'm public- I'm not gonna go over the laws with you, okay? If I need to, I will call DPD and have you removed, but I'm asking you politely. Can you uh, roll your window up and just leave me alone? I'm asking you politely, sir. If they ask you to leave, then that is their right as a business. So like I said, yeah. you're allowed to do whatever you want. Everything else, video yeah. record as long as it's on public property. Cool, I'm, I'm on public property, so. Hey guys, Denver Metro Audits, AKA the Mile High Auditor. Today we're at the Colorado Department of Human Services. And I believe this is here in Sheridan, Colorado. So let's go check it out, guys. See what they have to offer. See what's going on in here. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Good. What are you doing? Oh, we're taking some pictures over here. Yeah. Uh -huh. here. Do you ladies work here? Yeah. Do you work here? Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. Right. yeah. I just came to take some pictures and check it out. Oh. Who do you work for? Oh, myself. Have you taken pictures of the hospital? Is that what this is? Hospital? Yes. Well, it says the Department of Human Resources. Right there on that sign right there. Oh. Department of Human Services? Human Services, yeah. Colorado Department of Human Services, yeah. yeah. So this is a hospital? This is yeah, this is a mental hospital. Oh, okay. So where's the human services then? Well, the whole campus is the Colorado Department of Human Services. Got you, okay. So yeah. this, this particular thing right here is the mental health hospital here? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. I wasn't sure. I, I was looking it up and it said like LEAP and a lot of government uh, yeah, funded that's, stuff. it's all the buildings. So everything on this all entire on this campus, yep, campus is like part. just government stuff here? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to try to take some pictures here and then that's it. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right, guys. So we got some confirmation. This is actually the mental health hospital here. You know, if you have some mental health issues, you come here. I've actually been in a... Uh, a mental health facility before because you know I'm crazy but uh I've been in not not this one but I've been in some before back in my early 20s I would say what does this looks like 50s guys 50s or 60s Can't go in there, it's controlled access. Yeah, you would figure, you know, a mental health facility is probably gonna have controlled access, so it's not like just like a regular hospital. Yeah, but I mean, I love old buildings, even ones that are, you know, not super, super old, like these. Looks like, maybe, what was those windows before? Now they're. They blocked him out or something? Is that because it's a mental health hospital? Not sure. Sometimes these mental health hospitals are kind of like jails, man. Sir. Hey. Why are we taking pictures of our facility? Uh, who are you? I am Sergeant Thiel with the safety department. Okay. Yeah, I was just, I told those ladies over there, I was taking some pictures. For? Just for my own personal business. Okay, you can't take photographs here due to HIPAA. Oh, due to HIPAA? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, but there's no signs. So like HIPAA, you are you are actually on the line for HIPAA, not the citizens. So that's your guys' job. To re I'm not, I can't even go in there. It's controlled access. So I'm just taking pictures of the parking lot and the building. The there's reason. no medical part stuff out here for me to record understand sir the reason you cannot is because we do have patients to walk around here and right rather than getting you to have you photograph them this is why we don't have this on this campus we don't allow uh people to take photographs on this campus okay was well, there a law that says that i'm i can't do that it's a state it's a state facility sir right that's why i'm taking pictures because it's a state facility i'm asking you to please leave because you're currently trespassing, you cannot be taking pictures here. Well, do you know how trespassing works on public property? 
This is not public property. This, this is, is private property. It's private property? Yes, sir. Who's the owner? It is the state of Colorado. Okay, well, the state of Colorado doesn't own private property, sir. Okay, sir, I'm asking you to leave, please. Well, again, the if you light. can... But you can tell me the law that says that I have to leave a I'm public... I'm not going to go over the laws with you, okay? If I need to, I will call DPD and have you removed. But I'm asking you politely. Okay. I'm asking you politely, can you uh, roll your window up and just leave me alone? I'm asking you politely, sir. Nice up, Can you call DPD? individual out here photographing unauthorized and trespassing. Yeah, you can call him too. We're out here by the B building on Gary and Copy. You got a business card? Hey. Our conversation is done. Oh, it's done? We're waiting for a Denver police to get here. Oh, okay, cool. So that's the city of Denver? Yes, it is. I wasn't sure if it was Denver or Sheridan. It's Denver. Okay. So this guy says the conversation is done. And he's a security guard, I think he said, right? So. You said you're a security guard here for the state of Colorado. You're a sergeant, sergeant security guard, or please don't film me. I have that right. You have a right. You should know that. Please don't film me. Do you have a right to not be recorded? Yes, I do. In public? Okay, I didn't know that. I'm learning stuff too. So apparently, I can't be on public property. You said because I'm trespassing and. And you have a right to not be recorded as a public official in public. That's interesting. So if you're just coming in, guys, uh, this guy came up and told me I'm trespassing and that I have to leave. And uh, you know, I told him, hey, it's you know, public property. I'm just taking pictures of the outside. And I said, I have to leave or he's going to call the police. So that's where we're at now. And now he's telling me that I guess apparently he has a right to not be recorded in public when he works for the government. Uh, that's crazy, man. So. All right, so let's go uh, walk around over here. Uh, thanks for coming in. I had to go live three times because YouTube changed the way they do live streams. I haven't done a live in a while, so. I was literally actually walking this way. And the funny part is, guys, I know I say this a lot and everyone says this, but I was literally like walking like I was gonna leave. I mean, I was kind of getting some pictures of the of the area, like the back wall there. And I was probably gonna be there maybe like one or two more minutes and I was gonna move on to the next one. And then here comes security guard guy or whatever he said, he's a sergeant. I got his name, but not on the live stream. So. so you can see right here, guys, Department of Human Services, State of Colorado. I mean, this is public. Everything in this entire complex right here is public. So he said he's calling Denver police. So he said he's asking me politely. I don't know his name, but it says Sergeant. Sergeant something. Apparently I'm on private property, I guess, that the state of Colorado owns. I mean, Colorado is just something else, guys. Like when I went out to Massachusetts with uh, Accountability for All and Accountability Amplified, like we would go out sometimes several places before we get a video, you know what I mean? They're not as bad out there. When I do um, public records requests out there, I've never had an issue out here. Sometimes they'll just completely ignore your records request or total violation of the law all the time. Anytime I come out to do an audit, it's usually like the first place that I come, I get in a reaction or the second. So this is literally the first place that I came out to. It's the lack of education. If 
every single public employee and part of their orientation was to educate people on you know the first amendment this stuff wouldn't happen i guarantee you it wouldn't happen you can tell by the places i've visited they do education that you know they don't call the cops douglas county is really good out here so public tour was with me i was with sweet tea aurora transparency we went to castle rock spent an entire day police station courthouse library public building after public building everyone was nice and clearly they do training that's all it takes but they don't train these guys and then they just go off their feelings that you know you can't record because of hipaa and you know there might be a patient that walks outside and so that trumps your first amendment right and i'm gonna call the police on you you know what i mean and like i don't get it man like if they just would spend a little extra money to to educate every employee and then you know they could stop with the civil right lawsuits they could stop you know looking bad they get upset they hate us so if you hate us just do a good job and then we won't you know have anything to do what was your name again sergeant what just so i can know because i forgot it let's go talk to this guy So did you guys call the cops then, or? They're on their way? Okay. I was wondering, because it's been like 25 minutes and they're still not here, so. Can't tell you. All right. Well, you got a business card? I don't, we don't have cards. Yeah. Did you want to give me your name again? No. no? However, you are actually with a press. <laughs> There are ways you can go about organizing and setting up ways of coming out here and other than just showing up. Oh, okay. So I can get permission to exercise my rights? You can go through the power department and choose. You have protocols and things like that set for me. Pretty good. Okay, so I can ask for permission to exercise my rights. Interesting. I don't ask for permission to exercise a right because then it's not really a right, it's a privilege. I'm not, I'm, not I'm, just, I'm not arguing, I'm just having a conversation, right? I'm, I'm not arguing. I've, I've tried to explain the private facility, the state owned facility, that by taking pictures you're in violation of HIPAA laws. I can't be in violation of HIPAA law, sir. Only employees can. A citizen can never be in violation of a HIPAA law. You understand that? And you just said it's a private facility owned by the state. I mean, come on, man. The state doesn't own private property. Now, there could be restricted access. Like, you, I can't go in there. There's a key card. That, that I can't go in there. I know that. I understand that. But this is a public parking lot, sir. There's no sign. It's open. There's no gate. I can take pictures on here. This is open to the public, sir. Anyone can just come in here. So, you know, it's not a private facility, sir. It's a public facility. The tax dollars fund this place. In fact, you're paid with tax dollars, right? So if you're paid with tax dollars, it's not a private facility. Now, I was being nice in the beginning, but you know, you had to call the cops on me. You're basically initiating force and violence on me. I haven't initiated anything. Well, you, you called the police. I've asked you politely to leave and you So yeah. my next objective that I have to follow is call the police. Right, so you initiated force and violence on someone who's not breaking the law who's engaged in constitutionally protected activity. So I don't know why you would do that, man, because everything the police do is with force or at least the threat of force, right? Otherwise, no one would listen to them. So when you call the police, you're literally putting someone's life in danger, man. Like if I get some crazy cop, it's just ego tripping. He could tase me, tackle me, you know, break my arm. Like that stuff happens all the time. You know, you watch the news too. So, you know, if you're gonna call the police on someone, you better be sure that they're breaking the law before you do that, right? but I'm not breaking the law, you know? If you haven't figured it out by now, I do this for a living. You know, I've been doing this for years. And so I know what I'm doing. And hopefully, you know, if the cops are educated, they're just gonna come and they're gonna say, there's nothing we can do and they're gonna leave. And then as soon as they leave, I'll leave. But, you know, I, I say this a lot, but I was literally, as you see, I was walking this way towards the street. I was just getting my last pictures right here and I was about to walk off your property and go to the next place. But that's when you pulled up, man, so. That's why we're here, and you said you're going to call the police, and so I can't leave now because then I don't want them leave, you know, looking for me. I don't want to flee the scene, so. That's fair. Yeah. So, all right. 
Let's go walk. We're gonna go just walk around the parking lot a little. Cool. Come on, guys. This guy don't want to talk no more. So, but you know, I mean, that's the truth, right, guys? I mean, you call the police on someone, they better at least be breaking the law. Who knows what kind of cop I'm gonna get out here? So, guys, me and F in reality, we started a new prank call, kind of like uh, me and AFA had with uh, DM AFA pranks. But I got this one with F in reality, and it's called. Uh, DM FNA pranks. Okay, here come the cops, I think, guys. Yep, Denver Police. District 4. And I guess he left. <laughs> He's not coming in here or what? Oh, no, he is. Okay. He's following the law because it's a double yellow over there. So. so here we go, guys. Cops are here. Everything that is the property of this, that's private property, where does that end? So, street. Street? Street. Okay. Been over here. Okay. Um, so you have every right to record and do everything else as long as it is on public property. Mm -hmm. Nothing is preventing you from filming, recording, anything of that nature in the parking lot and everything else. If they ask you to leave, then that is their right as a business. But I'm not saying that you do not have the right to video or record anything that's on public property. Okay. So, Can I get your name and badge number, please? Yep. Officer Shuri, C-H-O-U-R-Y, badge number 22029. Do you have a business card I can take with me? So like I said, yeah. you're allowed to do whatever you want. Anything else, video yeah. record as long as it's on public property. Cool, I'm, I'm on public property, so. This is the private property of the hospital. Right, but it's Correct. it's public property and it's open to the public, so it's not, he said it's owned by the state of Colorado, so yeah. it's not like a private owner like McDonald's, you know, like some mm -hmm. guy. Yeah. It's taxpayer funded, and I know that I'm not going into the restricted area right there. There's uh -huh. key card access. I understand I can't go there, time, place, and manner, but this is open to the public. There's no, no trespassing signs. People can just walk right in. So I'm in the public parking lot. I'm not in anywhere that I'm not supposed to be, so I do have a right to be in here. Okay. That's it. So I was just gonna hang cool, out sir. until you guys leave, and and I was gonna be on my way. I'll pull next to you. you. Get a sergeant out here. Huh? You gonna get a sergeant? You said. I'm gonna call one. Oh, okay. So he's calling a sergeant, guys. So here we go, guys. More uneducated police officers who literally think that they. Did you hear him talking about private property? Where's your private property line in? There's no private property, man. It's called restricted areas. So call real quick. Yeah, I just moved that for you. So it's all this just video recording is not doing anything right now, so. Yeah, I'll we'll figure it out. I get it. I get that. So give me one second, man. Just give me one second. Okay, so you know like he said, no, 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 I don't know what he said, but he's like, I get it, I get it. But that's what I'm saying, guys. Like, you know, remember we were just talking about, if you guys have been in the live stream for a while, we've been talking about education. And this police officer comes and he's supposed to be the one that knows the law. He's the police officer. He should be educating this guy. Hey, there's nothing I can do, man. He's on public property. This isn't private property. But he said, hey, where's your private property line end is what he said. I can't fathom how people don't understand, especially police officers, don't understand the difference between public and private property. This isn't private property, man. It's owned by the state. It's a wide open parking lot. There's no signage. 
again, I, you know, I saw that the front entrance over there has security card access. So yeah, if I were to go in there, I could be legally trespassed. You can't trespass me from this open parking lot here. This is ridiculous. So hopefully uh, the sergeant will give him an education, guys. So again, just in case something happens, this is the Denver Police Department, District 4. We're just going to hang out here until this guy talks to his sergeant, I guess. and Because, you know, he's trying to say basically that he's told me that they have the right to ask you to leave. <laughs> and, 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 you know, I was being nice to him. Let me get your card. I mean, he thought he was just going to bully me out of here. You could tell. And then when I did, and he's like, oh, okay, well, let me, I better make a phone call. So that's what I'm saying. That's why, you know, that's my slogan on my channel, guys. If you don't know your rights, you don't have rights. You know, the people just bully you, try to bully you out of your rights all the time. It's unacceptable, man. It gets so frustrating that this cop is doing that. I mean, he's not like a douchebag. He seems cool, but, you know, he tried to bully me out of my rights, man. And if somebody doesn't know their rights, they're going to just get bullied. It's not cool. I mean, how can you swear an oath to the Constitution? You don't even know what you're doing, man. It's just, it's, it's mind-blowing. If they have no training, and it, public employees, cops, they're allowed to raise their hand and swear an oath to the Constitution. There's no training on the Constitution, right? They do like, I, I've talked to some cops and uh, some cops have emailed me. They do like one class, like eight hours on the Constitution, one day out of the six month training. That's it. Most of it's like, you know, watch your back and don't let anyone walk behind you. Watch your six, don't let it, you know, be scared of every person you could die at at any moment, like that's even what my attorney told me. That's what they teach them in the academy. You could be unalived at any moment. And that's why they act like that. Because they're scared of the public. Because the way they train them. And then they don't do any training on the Constitution whatsoever. And then they got guys like this coming out here. Telling me it's their right to ask me to leave. <laughs> you know? I mean, that's just crazy, man. Like, what if you went to McDonald's, right? And they didn't know how to make your burger and they like mess it up all the time. The question for you is, this is the public parking lot, correct? This isn't like the parking lot only doctors have access to everything else. And the public property, so he has every right to be in the parking lot of that. But it's also, like I said, it's gonna be in the parking lot as well, since the public has access to this parking lot, if they wanna go in and out of the facility, this parking lot is accessible to What's up? But the, what the thing is, is the public can park here and then go up to the building, knock on the door and request permission to go in, correct? Then this is a public parking. So that's the thing is uh, if he's not getting access to any restricted area, anything that's signed off that says, hey, this is for medical personnel only or anything else, then yeah, if this guy wants to record and like I said, go in and everything else is what it is. Unfortunately, so if it violates someone else, or like I said, you have patients, you have stuff walking that doesn't feel comfortable, it's public property. So I'll let him know. Okay. Hi, man. You have fun recording people. You have a great rest of your day. Hey, thanks for doing. Hey, hey. All right, kick rocks, then, buddy. I was gonna say thanks for doing your due diligence, but he wants to be a douche, and of course, he was saying, unfortunately. All right, Sergeant, so remember I told you there's nothing they can do. If we get an officer that's informed, he's, that's what he's going to tell you. So That's fine. All right, man. Can I get I'm, your name and who your Associated Press is? Uh, what's your name again? Just so I can pass you along. What's your name? Sergeant Thiel. Thiel? How do you spell that? T-H-I-E-L. T-H-I-E-L. Okay. Your you name? want my name? Sure. Please. It's uh, First name's Free. And last name is American. Free American. Who is the Associated Press you're with? wearing the press ID. I'm right. just asking for your information. No, thank you. Just a free American Fair here enough. exercising their rights, being free, Fair free enough. country. Yeah. So just don't, uh, don't initiate violence and force on me next time, bud. Okay, you see him bone out all quick? <laughs> That's what we call the drive of shame right there. <laughs> All right, guys, so that actually went pretty good. I mean, it didn't go good, but it went better than, you know, I didn't want to get arrested, so. <sighs> All right, let's turn this around. 
And that's all it takes, guys. That's all it took. I mean, you could tell that guy was salty as hell. <laughs> he didn't like it. You know, I try to tell him. I'm going to hang out here for a couple minutes. I'm going to leave anyways. You know what I mean? So they have every right to do it, unfortunately. Like, they always say that, man. Like, unfortunately. So that's it, guys. I'm going to get out of here. I appreciate everyone coming in. And don't forget to subscribe to our new channel. I hope you threw it in the chat, bro. It's called D DMFNA Pranks. And we're going to do some prank calls. Me and F in reality. All right, guys. We're going to get out of here. Thank you. Have a great night. Peace.